Think of plans. Uh, I'm going. I'm going clubbing. I'm gonna put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves: the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. Hmm. All right, but I'm not gonna come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to go out and watch. Oh, go out and should we say go out and watch the game? The <laughs> the game. <laughs> nice. Nice. Which game? You know the game, the one that's on tonight. Oh. The game on TV on, at somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Yeah. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. Nah. I'm a street rat, Pops. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? <sighs> yes, Dad. Just making sure. Just covering all my dad bases. I give her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? Ugh. No, making fun of sports is played out. Oh. All right, then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Huh. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, right, Mr. Vega. Whoa, I don't think we should date an English teacher, though. That would be weird. <laughs> However, he is really hot. <laughs> yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Stacy, that's what you say about every dad in this game. They, I haven't seen they the are dads. All, they are all hot. <laughs> okay. I hope they have a. I hope they have a fun night. I really, I'm really glad Amanda has such sweet friends, even if I can never remember their names. Just as I'm heading toward my room, the doorbell rings. It's never too early to. Okay, who could possibly need anything from me right now? Do they know what time it is? I was just about to head out. I walk over to the door and open it. Hello. Oh. A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door. Brandishing a plate of cookies. He's too clean. Yeah, he's I a little he too, seems he's, he's too a clean. Too I don't clean for me. I don't trust it. You know what it is? It's the it's the sweater around the the shoulders. It, it makes me think I'm about to get Stepforded. You know? Yes. Where yes. It's like this is he's a character out of the Stepford Wives. Yeah. Or out of um, Pleasantville. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, I know it's kind of late, but I baked way too many cookies. All right, he's in. It's fine. <laughs> All right, it's baked goods. It's good. You're Never fine. mind, you're okay. You're, <laughs> you're clear. And I just can't have these in the house or I'll eat them all. Ah. Excellent. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm oh. your next door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Todd. That's what my name is. <laughs> I saw the moving van and thought I'd do the near neighborly thing and bring you some, and bring you some. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. Oh, you didn't bake them. Well, Joseph leans in and whispers. Oh. Just between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Oh, <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? <laughs> Amanda pokes her head out of her room and immediately hones in on the cookies. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Well, thanks for the cookies. Oh, I like our daughter. She's really cool. Yeah, she's chill. Amanda disappears with the cookies. I'm glad Oh, she took all the cookies. <laughs> she just didn't take some. She, she took all of them. I'll take these. Not just a handful. Not like five. The whole plate. <laughs> Amanda, come back. And she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are all also tough. Mm. Children in general are just tough. <laughs> I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. <laughs> I have four kids. <laughs> We're great. What have you done? Oh, uh, I meant... <laughs> Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's late, too late to move again? Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. 
Is the missus around? Mister, actually. And, er, uh, no, not anymore. He died. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. No, 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 no. It's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Mm. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. <laughs> hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. <laughs> I'm throwing a barbecue for the for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Oh. <laughs> that sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. Right. Well, neighbor, I'll just let you get to bed. See you at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Oh. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm in the youth. I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. It makes me, like, aroused. I don't know why. <laughs> He's not a priest. He's, well, I mean, a youth minister, I guess. But... I don't know why. I always, like, want to, like, fuck religious people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, Stacy and I both realized there were two cis women looking in on male-male relationships when we play this game. So yes. if so we realize our place. Yeah. So if we if we say something That's... that seems out of line to you, please feel free to let us know. That is perfectly okay. Yeah, and and we will try our best not to be disrespectful in any way. We are fully aware that this is this game is not for us. This is for gay men. Yeah. Or bisexual men, men who men desire who men. men who love men or whatever. So we're just we're just looking in and being supportive. Yeah. And if we get excited, I mean, you know, we're excited because it's a gay dating sim, you know? It's we're not excited like... about the relationship. Not it's like, you know, yeah, what I mean? it's not like a fetish, you know. We're trying not to Also, be, we're trying not to fetishize it. If we do say things that like remind you of fetishization, please let us know because the only way for us to learn is for if you let us know. Yeah. Um, and also, sorry that we totally missed the binders thing. Oh, yeah. I felt so dumb about that. I felt really bad. I pointed but... it out. Um, one, I think it's awesome that this game includes the option for you to have a binder so that your character can be trans. Two, or I you can have a, like that canonical um, validation. Yeah, and neither of us clearly read the description. We were like, oh, crop tops. Yeah, I'm such an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> no, we both did it. I, and neither of us made the connection. So. <laughs> And I, from what I hear, a lot of people didn't either, so I just... That, but what but I'm saying is, like, if you're a trans man, that might be a frustrating experience for you, for everybody to just, like, completely gloss, Blow by it. gloss yeah. over that it's a binder, and we would just like to say that, like, we're sorry for not validating that aspect, because I know that that probably means a lot to some people, just to get the validation that, like... Yeah, for sure. This is a binder hello, like, yeah. look at it, I exist, you know? Yeah. So. And it also means that our character potentially could have birthed Amanda. Yep, true. Although that is not, I know that's not something that every trans man wants. Yeah, but... some trans men would never want to have that experience, but some trans men do. What I'm saying is we, we're we geek remix and we're trying our best. Yep, all right. So. Back to this youth minister. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Yeah. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seems nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. <laughs> See? You're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Uh -huh. They're gone. I'm sorry. Oh my god. <laughs> If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. <laughs> so you ate all of them anyway. Oh. The Emma's helped. Right. Well, kiddo, I'm gonna go catch the game. Have fun, Dad.
get whatever job you want. Just make sure it includes health insurance. Well, I get that was a dad tip, by the way. That's not me talking. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to read the dad tips as fast as we can because yeah. the computer is just so amazing it's that it plays so the fast. It plays this dating sim. <laughs> so well <laughs> wow i guess i really didn't think this plan through i'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is and amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the gps on my phone so i'm just gonna pick a direction and walk in it all right so one thing people told us is that it's hard to get the best endings and also not to have sex with people right away no really <laughs> that's like a pretty like standard dating sim like hey they cared enough to let us know, and I want to validate Oh, it. no, 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 no. I'm not saying that to them. I'm <laughs> saying that to you. Yeah, idiot, Mari. Because, you don't fuck them on the first date. Because you're the one that's always like, yeah, let's fuck this dude right away, and then they don't want to be in a relationship with us. Story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I'd just like to say, though, I find it a little unrealistic that that's like a dating sim rule, because that's not how real life always goes. Yeah, sometimes. I've definitely, like, fucked people on the first date and then ended up going into a long-term relationship with them. Everybody's different. What yeah, else? Yeah, yeah. So, I, I just don't want people to feel, like... First date slut-shamed? No, not at all. Right. Let's go this way. Cool. Okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance, could it be... <gasps> A big, burned-out neon sign hangs above a tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. I'm sticking to this chair. The part is it's small. so hot. It's, it's so, so hot, you guys. And we can't have the air conditioning on. <laughs> All right. The bar is small, and I, we are feeling pain for you. Okay? It's so hot. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool balls sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Kim or Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. What'll it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. Dude, I bet I know who we're gonna meet here. I like it when dudes call me ma'am or boss. Boss? You got it, boss. And I'm like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't get to read that. Oh, sorry. Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. <laughs> The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. This is the most generic, like... I love it! <laughs> it's so nondescript. It's like that scene from the IT crowd where they're like... Oh, did you see that ludicrous display last night? Oh, it's yes. like they were trying to walk it in. <laughs> Yes, try to walk it in! I think I've said that to you a few times before you had seen the IT crowd. Yes. Just to see, and because you'd be like, Mari, well, I'm like, yeah, it's like they're trying to walk in. You're like, yeah, and I'm like... <laughs> I like doing that to people who've never seen the IT crowd. Yeah, I, I, like, I like sports. <laughs> Not all sports, but some sports. Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. I love this. <laughs> a middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass sidles up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sir. Oh, hello. Hey. Good to see fresh meat. Ew. Oh, no. Fresh meat in here. I'm Mary come here often wait you s okay can i just absorb the this? turtleneck with the turtleneck with the cross and the headband it's not really the it's it's the like necklace over turtleneck no matter what that necklace is it's like you, you know. can't wear a necklace with a turtleneck first of all i don't know what i don't know why anyone would wear a turtleneck if they look good on you and they're comfortable that's cool i they i feel like they're strangling me I think it's just because I'm so buff, Oh, it's though. because... It... <laughs> you know, my neck's just, like, popping out, you know. 
Her luck. Well, now I want to wear turtlenecks because Stacy said not to. <laughs> okay, I, yeah. It's not that, like, I mean, but look at this, this. Oh, no, I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Todd, by the way. Ah. She called us fresh meat. Yeah, I would be like, no. No. Are you watching the game? <laughs> yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If my they preferred keep, team. If they keep, it's so that we can self-insert into the game, Mari. <laughs> the, I know, but it's like so obs. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. The game. Oh. Oh, I love that team. I also love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. <laughs> Getting the impression that she's a little drunk. Uh. Oh. Buy a gal a drink? Uh, oh, no. no, that's okay. Uh, maybe some other time? Ugh. Seat yourself, sailor. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. I happily watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. A little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team! It's the brooding man <gasps> from the coffee spoon. I know. I know. Tattoo. Yeah. This is like this. Enjoying the game? What kind of tattoos do you think he's got underneath there? Hopefully a lot. Explore that body. <laughs> I am now that... I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. He reminds me of Bill from True Blood, even though he doesn't really look like Bill. He know. reminds me of... Uh, the guy... The lead character from Wolf Among Us. So, in the pilot episode of True Blood... The, the director um, direction that they gave Suki was, when he talks to you, I want you to feel it in your vagina. That's awesome. That's what he said to her <laughs> when they were acting. Because Did they end up getting married? In the, in the in real in life? In real life. Oh, yeah. They're married in real life. Yeah. And she's bisexual. Yes. I remember that. Because I was like, oh, Rogue is bisexual. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously. Have you seen her hair? Yeah. She's, got, sure. she's got magical girl hair. Wait, isn't Rogue for real bisexual in the comics? Or? I don't know. I'm honestly not very familiar with most comic book lore. Cause... Did you know that Rogue's mom in the comics is Mystique? Really? Her adoptive mom. Like, her mom, oh, her no. family kicked her out, and then Mystique came and adopted her. Oh. And then Mystique's uh, biological son is the guy who can teleport night something nightcrawler yeah oh shit. that's her bio son wow and rogue's her adopted son daughter nightcrawler was always my favorite and i remember mystique does something like morally ambiguous to save rogue and rogue's like really mad because she's not evil anymore because mm. she's not evil anymore because rogue was raised by mystique and mystique works with magneto Okay, but she was mad at her for not being evil? No, no, no. Mystique took this baby who was, like, the last born mutant or whatever in the world and, like, used it to help heal Rogue. And she didn't know if the baby would die because of this, and Rogue was mad. Oh, okay. But anyway, what I'm saying is, cool family. <laughs> yeah, what we're saying is, this guy's an X-Men. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that totally makes sense! He's, like, fucking Wolverine Doesn't or some shit. Doesn't he look like yeah. he could be? Do you think Wolverine could get tattoos, or do you think they would get pushed out of his skin? Ah, I would think that they wouldn't. Yeah, because, because if you're if if it heals like too much, wouldn't it just push it right out? Yeah, but like. But you you also we don't heal them away. Yeah, that's although, what I'm thinking it's like a subdermal thing. Although over time, they do fade. But I thought that was due to like sun damage and stuff. I don't know. Question for Questions everyone in for the, the comments. comments. Yes. First of all... Debate amongst yourselves. Okay, um, let's, let's... Is Wolverine bisexual? The answer is yes. <laughs> B. Because if you're 250 years old, obviously... At some point, you explore your options. Yeah, obviously. And then, um, can Wolverine get tattoos? Alright. In my opinion, my team is far superior. <laughs> superior. 
I have to disagree with that. Based on our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is far superior. That's where you're wrong, since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. The conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win. But in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple through the bar. I raise a respectful glass to the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender, who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. Okay, so he really is Wolverine. I was wrong. He's not a vampire. He's Wolverine. I told you! Okay, I'm just saying. He has that vampire, like, modern vampire look. I don't think he does. I think he does. I think if he was a character in True Blood, he'd definitely be a vampire. I think he looks more like a werewolf. Mm, I just feel Werewolf like... or vampire? Werewolf or vampire? Because... I just feel like I don't, I don't like giving in to, like, gruffness equals werewolf. Like, some vampires want to be gruff. Some werewolves want to be fancy. No, I know, but I just, I look at him and he has that kind of like... Werewolf look? Yeah. Yeah. He also looks kind of like, you know, like a maverick. I don't know. The name's, okay, go ahead. The name's Robert. Thanks, I'm Todd. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Robert chuckles. Oh. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Aww, he's smiling now. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? No, that'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Okay. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. <sighs> you like shots? Um... <laughs> Uh, I like I like shots. shots. I I personally don't, but I think it's okay that we are just like yeah, whatever. Huh. Thank you. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands one to me. Here's to your health. We take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Hey. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Okay, Todd. This guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Compliment his cool leather jacket. I like your jacket. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Been in my family a long time. Passed down from firstborn to firstborn. Cursed, some would say. Whoa, how old is that jacket? Wow. Man, this guy is mysterious and cool. Yeah, he's mysterious. Oh. Yeah. Way cooler than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? Uh... My daughter. My daughter kicked me out of the house. Not, like, forever. She was having a sleepover with her friends. Uh -huh. Family type, huh? Single dad. Huh. Hmm. He gets up. Be right back. Gotta powder my nose. Oh, does that? No, I don't think he literally means like. Uh, does that does that mean he's gonna do coke in the bathroom? No, I don't think he means he's going to do coke in the bathroom. Okay. I think that that's like a joke, like, like. Oh. Be right oh. back. I'm gonna go do a girly thing. Oh, okay. You know. I've never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. <laughs> ha! I guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. I mean, we do have a cat shirt. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. I just had this image in my head where he's like walking with his red t-shirt on, grabs the jacket and like throws, throws it, over it over his, his shoulder. Yes! <laughs> yeah, and he kind of like leans on the bar. Yep. I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? Fuck yeah. Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. Remember, we can't Aww. sleep with him. Yeah, but this uh, this is cute that we're just, like, walking it's together. really fucking adorable. He oh offered to walk us home. That's what this is. <gasps> <sighs> okay. You know that that's, like, okay. I live in the cul-de-sac down the way. Do we all live in the same cul-de-sac? Yeah. <laughs> Does everybody live there? <laughs> Me too. We just finished unpacking today. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? 
We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. I don't kiss and tell, Todd. Uh -huh. So are we doing this or what? Oh, wow. What? Oh. You know, do you want to come inside or not? A wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Ah, uh, I'd better call it a night. Catch you around? Mm-hmm. Sure. We're playing hard to get. Now he wants it. I mean, I'm Now just, he wants it even more. I'm just saying in real life. I would say, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> in real life, I would run in the door. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I head home, head buzzing with whiskey. What did he mean by, are we going to do this or not? I plop down on the couch. You know what it means. And I'm a, well, this is Todd, remember? Oh, yeah. No, Todd's not oblivious. Oh, yeah, we're role playing as Todd right now. <laughs> You're a fan of Peter Party Gamer, the person who edits those videos, is who we're playing role playing as. <laughs> oh yeah, we have to like seriously role play as him. Okay. Okay. Remember, just we we are Todd. Role playing you gotta as let our me, friend. Gotta let me finish I'm sorry, this. I'm just so distracted by role playing as Todd. <laughs> I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Oh, yay! Rise and shine, early birds. Still don't want to work out. This is Craig, but whatever. By the way. Oh, okay. I thought it said but. I thought BTW, BTW was... by the way. I thought it was but whatever. No. My God. Really? All this time. First, I thought the heart emoji was a butt. It's okay. You know what I thought? I thought that, um... The arrow penis? The air Yeah, I thought that when people made, like, an arrow to, like, point to their own name... Like, to say, like, some, like, oh, this is, like, what I thought. I thought that they were saying, my penis thinks this. And I would always be like, that's so weird. Like, why do you talk this way? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's not too unusual. I'm serious. I remember I used to talk to somebody who, like, who would put the arrow in, like, all the time whenever they would say, like, that they were thinking something. And I would always be like, God, that's so fucking weird. What a weirdo! And they're like, no, that's what I'm thinking, not what my penis thinks. Yeah. And, yeah. And just, let's just say when For I For the find longest him, time, I thought the, like, the less than symbol with the three, I was like, oh, that's a butt. And then when people would have, like, the, the face with the three, yeah. I thought they were making a butt face. And I was like, wow. And then finally, on Facebook... They changed it so that, like, the actual heart emoji... Makes a heart. Makes a heart, and I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had to explain to my my boss what, um, what was it? Uh, R-O-F-L? No, it was R-O-F-L and, like, O-M-F-G. We had to explain what those meant, and then she started, she used them in an email, like... Oh, no, not to, like, to, like, somebody in the company. OMFG? Yeah. Okay. Like, as a response to someone, typed, like, OMFG, and, like, we all pretty much died because it's this, like... like old lady. It's this, like, 65-year-old woman being like, oh, my fucking God! One time my mom sent me a text that was completely, like, she was trying to text, like, in that shorthand that teenagers do. Oh, God. But none of it made sense. And it was just letters and numbers. Like, not ones that actual people use. Yeah, it was just, like, her making up new ones. <laughs> anyway, okay. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m.? Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing it, I drift back to sleep. Whoops, must have winked back out. I checked my phone again. Hey, bud, still want to get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. Oh, that would, I would, like, if that happened to me, I'd be like... Like an asshole. <laughs> like, I think he's. Oh, you mean him? If I was Craig. Yeah, yeah. I think he probably understands that we're very sleepy. God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out. But it is Craig. I do want to catch up. Let's go. Go to the gym. Hey, hey, my man. I need a few minutes to wake up. But let's meet in twenty. After a few seconds, another text comes in. Sure thing. Meet me at the gym. The gym. I stretch and my bones creak. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blanket and... Hey, wait. I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Aww. Aww. 
Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth and throw on my on the only clothes I own that are even kind of gym appropriate and head out. Do we have a job? I don't know. That's a good question. Maybe we're No, we do Wait. have a job. Hold on. We're the editor for Peanut Butter Gamer. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe we're a YouTuber. Remember all they do is sit on the couch and do nothing. Oh yeah, that's what YouTubers do. Yeah. I was at a party. That was the story I was going to tell you. Oh, okay. Tell the story. I was at a party last night. And it's like me and a couple of like my friends that know me and know about the channel. And then mm -hmm. a couple of people that don't know mm -hmm. me. And one of them was talking about like how between this job and their next job, they have like a month off, right? Mm -hmm. And we're having like a goodbye. This is her goodbye party. Anyways, one of her friends says like, oh man, like that would be so nice to get to just do whatever you want. It's like being independently wealthy. And this other guy says... Well, if you wanted to do that, you could just be a YouTuber. All they do is sit around all day, sit around on the couch all day doing nothing. And I just like burst out laughing and like couldn't even explain That's why I was so laughing so hard. That's not true. And no, and my friend looks over at him and she was like, I think it takes a little more than that. And like, we're all just like silently giggling and laughing and like nobody would explain to him why it was so funny. <laughs> And I was just like, yeah, it takes way more than that. You have to, like, for the first, like, two years of your YouTube channel, you have to work, like, 8 to 12 hours a day for nothing. Yeah. And just hope. And just hope. Hope that it'll, it'll work out. <laughs> it, yeah, because, and I mean, you have to put out content f consistently. So, you know, for a lot of channels, it's, like, every day. Um, you have to figure out how to promote your content. You have to think of unique ideas that other people haven't done. Yeah. I know that a lot of people are like, oh, you just copy off of whatever everyone else is doing, but I'm not. Well, but I hate it. You know what it is? Like, it's because the point of entry is so low. Low, yeah. That, like, anybody can technically buy the equipment and not, like, anybody, but you know what I mean. Like, it doesn't take, like, years of training to be able to do it. You could you can foreseeably like buy yourself the equipment and learn how to do things yourself. But what people don't take into account is that like that doesn't always translate to good videos. Or it, it, it doesn't always translate to, like you have to, it takes so long to just get a footing in to even just get your foot in the door with so much initial investment. Yes. Like buying the games, buying the equipment, spending the time. Like when this front channel first started, I had a job and I spent all of my money that didn't go towards paying bills on the channel. Yeah. All of it. And if you're just starting out, you're buying all the games. Even now, we still buy a lot of, a the, lot games. of the games. Because it's, you know, like not every developer will give codes to YouTubers. Mm -hmm. And even if they do, they might not give them to one that's our size. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah. All right, anyway, we gotta... Sorry, anyway, moving on. The neighborhood is quiet and serene this early in the morning. Birds chirp and the grass is still wet with dew. Unsurprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Craig standing out front, stretching. Of course. He spots me and waves enthusiastically. Hey, bro, good morning. Hey, good to see you, man. He's really cute. I like this thing. Yeah. I like his hair, too. I just like his eyebrow scar. I'm definitely not as pumped as pumped up as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee before I left. He looks like he would be one of the love, like, you know how there's always that love triangle in K-dramas? Mm -hmm. I feel like he would be, like, the main love person. <laughs> the main love person? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely not as pumped up as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee before I left. Oh, mm -hmm. You ready to kick some butt? Um, with your help I am. No, just help. Help! This is it. This is how I die. I don't, oh no, I fucked it up. Right, sorry. Uh, it'll be alright, dude. We'll ease you into it. Hey!